go. Once we get in there, we're gonna, you guys are gonna climb off your horses here in a few moments when I tell you to. We're gonna ride through all these guests. We're gonna ride down the road and I'm gonna stop at each campsite and give you guys, I'll call out your name and you guys will be able to camp with um, in those campsites down there. Well, the program is through the Boy Scouts. It's a Boy Scout program and it's uh, one of the neatest things about this program is we're not out here just on a horseback ride going around in a little circle and back to the same place. We, we're moving the herd. Uh, we have a herd of about eight, between 70 and 80 head of horses, which there's about 50 out here with us right now. We're moving them between our two camps. And we have a, a winter camp. Uh, the ranch itself is down outside of Scotts Mills. And we have a mountain camp that's up on the backside of Mount Hood, not too far out of Dufer. And um, we run these horses up there all summer as a scout program. They're with us for nine days. We start with many kids that have never been on a horse before. And um, this trip here, we have uh, 36 folks on. And, um, and there's a number of them that had never rode before. We start with an orientation day on the first Saturday. It goes, uh, it starts at 11 o'clock and it goes until uh, till dark. And then the next morning we wake them up at, before light and feed them before light. And we're down at the corral as the sun's rising. And by 8, 30, 9 o'clock we're on our horses and heading to our first campsite. You know, it's something that's really changed over the years. Years ago, it, this was a trip to get our horses moved. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it was just because I wanted these kids to experience more or if I was bored with just riding or whatever, but we've really m transformed this thing into, it's a, it's a nine day horsemanship clinic that we talk continually about humanship skills. We have a whole session on, on leadership, a whole session on goal setting, a whole session on having a positive attitude and how that attitude can transform your life. Learning about horsemanship and kind of how to be successful, how to just be a better person in life and just see what be acting like a western cowboy can teach you. I have more um, muscles on my thighs. <laughs> That's a start. Saddle soreness is evil but you get used to it. So there's that but I've also grown in um, Kind of just faith in myself and also relying on others and an animal that I'm riding on and trusting my life with and it's a great partnership to between you and the horse and I think I'm having a great partnership with Oreo she is a great horse she is in Appaloosa I think she's 16 years old she's slow but she gets the job done and <laughs> When scared by bees, <laughs> likes to go fast, very fast. It's a trust thing. She trusts me, I trust her, and it works. I've only <laughs> fallen off once. It wasn't that bad, so I think we're doing pretty well. The very first day, we start talking to these, everybody, because there's adults on this trip too, about the difference between human time, the time that we all run at when we live in the city and we got a job and we got responsibilities and all that. But then the other thing is horse time. Hmm. And that horse time that we teach these kids about is a time that slows down to the pace of the horse. And whatever happens, happens, and however long it takes, it takes. I mean, there's a lot of different sayings that these kind of kids, these kids start picking up on. Like, uh, um, if, you, if you take the time it takes, it takes less time. <laughs> um, make the right thing easy and the wrong thing difficult. Uh, recognize the smallest change, reward the slightest try. And they start looking at those little things with their horses and then they start realizing how important that is with their, mm -hmm. in their lives. It's an amazing program. I wish every kid in the country could go on it because it's just one of the things that people don't realize their kids need. They need responsibility, they need boundaries, they need to know what they can do, what they can't do. They need to have people tell them they're great and they need to be successful. And that's all something that happens for every kid that comes out here on this trip. They just long for this. It's just what their heart's desire is. They just don't know it because we don't do this in the world anymore. And so it's great. I tell these kids when they get there, this is a trip of a lifetime. It's going to transform your life. You just get ready to have your life changed. And, uh, and I don't let them down. They, they know that and they come back and they tell me that. And they come time after time after time to, to get more of that. <laughs>